speak to one of the winners this morning, Pete Hoekstra, the Republican, former congressman, who now is the Republican nominee for United States Senate. And in the general election, he will be the Republican choice against Senator Debbie Stabenow. Congratulations. Hey, thank you, Michael. It was, uh, it was a very gratifying uh, night last night. We had a lot of work. Uh, we had, uh, we've done a lot of work over the last 11 months. Put out a message, and uh, you know, last night was uh, was was very, very good. So thank you. A twenty-point win, as I heard, or something like that. Very convincing. And now you can uh, get back to the focus of uh, talking about your record and talking about Senator Stabenow's record. How does your life change now that the re the primary is over and the general is on? Well, we uh, we've spent much of the last uh, you know six nine months. You know, saying, "Hey, we are going to hold Barack Obama. We're going to hold Debbie Stabenow accountable for their performance in Washington D.C." You know, the people of Michigan know that we can do better, and so we're going to be continuing talking about the solutions that we want to bring Michigan that we will that we think will create an environment where there will be jobs, there will be more opportunity, we'll be able to start reducing the deficit and paying down the debt. So it really is now a contrast, not between me and my Republican colleagues in the primary about what the differences might have been about our agendas, but really the major difference, you know, my agenda, Republican agenda versus the agenda of Debbie Stabenow. So in a sense, you've already been running your general election campaign. Uh, in many ways, we have, yes. Our 18-year record as a West Michigan congressman, uh, some people will say, well, how can he run as an outsider and advocate of change when you were there for two decades? And that's about as long as uh, Senator Stabenow, roughly around the same time. How do you separate yourself? Well, I think clearly the the record that she has established versus the record that I have. I've consistently fought for smaller government. I have consistently fought for lower taxes. I've consistently said, you know, we need to return authority and control from Washington back to individuals, back to communities, back to the state. And she's consistently been a vote for expanding influence, control, and in spending in Washington. I think it's going to, Michael, it's going to be a great, uh, going to be a great campaign, a classic campaign about someone who believes in Washington, which is Senator Stabenow, and someone who believes in the individual and American creativity, someone who's going to push solutions that uh, enable us to grow the economy from the bottom up rather than from Washington out. Did Clark Durant phone you last night? Absolutely. Clark and I had a good conversation last night. Randy and I had a nice uh, conversation last night. We are totally united. We always have said throughout this campaign the focus here is beating Debbie Stabenow and electing the 51st Republican senator to the U.S. Senate. Did I read somewhere you're going to have one debate with Senator Stabenow? Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe that's what she would like to do. But, you know, as we went through this process, uh, I participated in roughly 10 debates and forums with my uh, Republican colleagues. I would hope that uh, I can't imagine that we would only have one debate with Senator Stabenow. There need to be a number uh, of debates uh, beyond that. This is a critical election. Michigan very well could be the 51st vote uh, in the U.S. Senate. Uh, I can't believe that she would only want to do one debate. Okay, we'll keep in touch along the way. Would love to talk to you as often as you're available and sometime in person here in our AT&T studio at the Capitol. Hey, we'll love to be there. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Michael. All the Michael. best to you. Pete Hookster, the winner yesterday of the Republican primary for U.S. Senate. Carol.